Hey everyone, my name is Matt. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. If you know us, you know we love traveling. And this week, me, Jenny, and Aria head up to an off-grid eco resort uh, located on 160 acres in Rock Creek, BC. Ozen Sanctuary is an off-grid eco resort built by our friends Jamie and Shelby, along with friends, family, and volunteers. The plan is to create a self-sufficient and sustainable off-grid property. They offer their property for weekend getaways and their wall tents for people to enjoy through Airbnb rental. Last year, I spent a week up at Ozen with Jamie and Shelby, helping build shower towers for the spa area and wall tent platforms. After spending a week with no cell service and just hanging out on the property, I felt pretty relaxed and pretty recharged. Um, there's something special about Ozen. Just being out in nature, not having to think about anything going on in the world, uh, it's pretty awesome. This week we're going back to hang out, enjoy the sauna, nap, read, and just take it easy. Let's load the truck and get out of here. Took off for a morning run a little while ago. Got about 4.2k now, and we're headed back to camp. We're gonna grab the truck, and we're gonna go meet Jenny down by the river, um, and then go for a dip. Go hang out for the day. Take it easy. It's kind of the reason we all came up here this weekend. Um, we wanted to come up to Ozen just to kind of unwind, unload, and just recharge from the summer we've had. Um, it's been a busy one. It's nice to get out and. Kind of go somewhere no cell service you really do feel just disconnected at least i feel like it um just the thought that your phone is cut you know there's no uh there's no service there's nothing you can do you don't even have to think about it there really is some power in that we're super grateful that shelby and jamie have created this awesome space i just want to say thanks to jamie and shelby for hosting us we really appreciate it and hopefully we uh We'll be back soon. Now we're gonna go pick up Jenny and we're gonna go hit the river. Go for a nice dip down at Rock Creek. Oh, and then just chill out for the rest of the day. I see Jenny up ahead. Oh, look at that. Oh, I saw a bear. A bear? Yeah. What? I ran across the road and was like probably about 50 meters ahead of me. What? It was very close. He was little. He's probably like two. Crazy. So how far you got? Three more K. Three more K? Okay. Yeah. Three, so it's three K from here is probably like almost down to that bridge. We're gonna cross anyway. Yeah. How much more you got? 800 meters. 800 meters. Here we go. Running away from you? Every time. Every time. Every race. Every time Jenny leaves, oh, it's in a frenzy. Oh, we're gonna get it over. How's that? Great. I mean, it ran 16K mostly downhill on a gravel road. It was lovely. <laughs> really scenic though, it was so pretty. One bear, two grouse, and they flew off. So in Rock Creek, the animals are scared of humans, which is really nice. Yeah. The bear did not stay around to check me out. <laughs> But I noticed as it ran by, I was like, oh, sorry, bear, it's okay, I'm kind of... Hey, bear, <laughs> be aggressive.
Besides hanging out at Ozen and checking out the sauna and all the awesome amenities they have there, you're also really close to Rock Creek, which is just a little town in BC on the way to everywhere else in BC. But <laughs> <laughs> that is what they should call it. The, the, the town. No, it's not Rock Creek anymore. It's the town that's on the way to everywhere else in BC. <laughs> but it's a sweet little town. Um, <laughs> Like under inflate it to over inflate it. <laughs> it's a place. <laughs> Rock Creek is a place that exists in British Columbia. <laughs> but they have a wicked little river, uh, the Kettle Valley, uh, Kettle Valley River. You can come down, hang out on the rocks, go for a dip after a run, and just enjoy the beautiful sunshine. We're making the trek up to the top of the mountain huh? here to Azen. Oh. Go do a little evening photo shoot. Hi. Get some drone footage. Whew. It's a functional trail if you can be creative. Or if you're Jackson. Jackson. Jackson's got to figure it figured out. He's a resident dog here. He knows this area better than all of us, I'm sure. And surprisingly, we were sitting down eating dinner and it was getting really cold down in the valley. And since walking up here, it's, what do you say, 10 degrees warmer? It's hot. Put on a sweater. Now I'm just sweating. In sweater. In my sweater. I mean, I guess it's doing its job. So, uh... Yeah, we're probably gonna be heading down at night with some headlamps on, so that could get interesting. There, final push. Oh man, it's getting steeper. This is gonna be epic. It's gonna be deadly. Oh man. Oh, oh I can see the glow. Oh man, it's getting beautiful. So we get over this little point here. We're gonna have a pretty wicked view, kind of 360 of the whole valley. Oh shit, here we go. Pretty incredible. Time to head back down in the darkness. Got some pretty cool shots up here. Got some drone stuff. A couple cool sunset shots. We a little late coming up, but I think we got some pretty sweet, sweet time. Yeah. Cool. 
<laughs> you don't have to mark it up yet. You just ejected.